What's going on everybody? Welcome to another First Fit video. My name is Chase and today we're looking at a shirt that you can ride in and stay safe. Let's check it out. So guys, what you're looking at is Highway 21's Marksman flannel shirt. It's coming in right above $100 and if this was your only riding jacket, then it's actually kind of cheap for a riding jacket. Let's look at the tech specs real quick. So guys, what we're looking at is a eight ounce cotton flannel. It's actually really soft. It includes removable back, elbow, and shoulder armor. The shoulders and elbows are made out of a 165G dew point Kevlar. Main point being, it's made out of Kevlar, so you're gonna stay safe in those impact regions. All zippers, both inside and outside, are made by YKK. So for you concealed carry fans, I'm looking at you, do Dan, Yummy R6. It's got a concealed inner pocket for uh, concealed carry, and it's also extra padded, and it's got a liner that's really soft on the inside. All right, so guys, enough about the tech specs of the shirt. Uh, I've been riding this thing for a couple weeks, and I gotta get something out of the way from the get-go. Calling this a shirt is a little bit of a stretch. I would consider it kind of a midpoint between a shirt and like a really thick hoodie. Uh, this is not the type of thing you're going to buy to replace like a t-shirt to go ride in. That's the expectation I had when I first got it. I expected I could just like throw this on and go ride and have it on all day. But it's more of like a over shirt, if you want to call it that. I wouldn't call it a jacket and I wouldn't call it a shirt. So let's, let's go with over shirt. So I do want to go ahead and get the negative out of the way. When I was testing this, go figure, all of the days I was riding around Atlanta, it was 92 degrees, I was stuck in traffic, and the sun was beaming down on me. Which is, now in my experience, probably the worst scenario you could put yourself in with riding in this thing. It's thick, it holds in heat, and it does not breathe very well. Uh, that being said, you know, if you got moving, it, it would help a little bit, but there's just not a lot of air ventilation. So if you're moving at low speeds or not moving at all, and you're in the summer days, you're going to get hot in this thing. There is no getting around that. Because of that, I'm definitely going to recommend this thing for like that three season ride. You're going to do spring, fall, and winter. During those times, this thing is going to be fantastic, but right now it's summertime and on a hot day, this jacket gets rough if you're not moving. So as far as negative stuff, that's really all I've got for this thing. My absolute favorite part of this shirt was just the range of motion you had. I'm sure a lot of you guys have worn riding jackets and you ride around and, you know, a, a riding jacket has a very specific cut and you're stuck in that cut for whatever that jacket is. This shirt is where I actually want to call it a shirt because I had the full range of motion that I have like right now wearing this t-shirt. It does not hinder that at all. I just realized I'm doing a shirt about a flannel and I'm not wearing the flannel, so that seemed kind of stupid. So I'm gonna wear the flannel now. So like I said, the range of motion is where I really love this shirt. It's actually where I wanna call it a shirt because I don't feel hindered at all. I can put book bags on because Lord knows it is hard to put a book bag on with a riding jacket. If you guys ride with jackets on and wear book bags, you know what I'm talking about. So as far as the armor goes, I told you guys it has removable elbow, shoulder, and back armor. Now, typically in like leather jackets, the armor is beefed up. And this thing's not gonna be as strong in a wreck as a leather jacket. You'd have to be an idiot to think that. But the armor is super light, but because of that, it keeps that range of motion that is so freaking powerful. And it also isn't really intrusive. You guys can kind of see that it doesn't poke up a lot. The places I noticed this a lot is when I was riding and I had a book bag on, typically if I like did a shoulder check, my chin or on the helmet would like hit my shoulder armor. But here I was able to look back and forth with absolutely no freaking problems, which is really helpful when you're in busy traffic. So the question is, would I replace my riding jackets with this riding shirt? And the answer is absolutely not. I found myself much cooler when I rode around with my Revit GTR Air white jacket. It breathes so much better and it reflects a lot more light than this thing does. I will say, this is the most comfortable thing I can wear while I ride other than just a regular t-shirt. So as far as ideal conditions for this thing, what I'm kind of thinking of, even if it's hot outside, if I was doing a short ride to work or to class or something, I think I would pick this thing almost every time. You get the casual feeling of a t-shirt and it actually looks like a shirt. So if you like hung it over a chair or something like that at work, you wouldn't even be able to tell it's a riding jacket, but you still get the protection of having elbow armors, Kevlar, stuff like that. 
and that way you don't have to like suit up with a riding jacket. That's probably the best case scenario for this thing. So another thing I like about the shirt are the buttons on the front. So the buttons are not actually buttons, they're just flaps. And they hold this little piece of cloth over the actual zipper that takes the shirt on and off. Uh, if you had the zipper in the middle, it wouldn't actually feel like a flannel because the flannel's all buttoned up. So I appreciate the aesthetic factor that they put in a little flap just to make it look like an actual flannel. Because my whole goal with this, these type of clothing and gear is to look like I'm not wearing motorcycle gear. So I think that does a really good job in that department. Alright, so at the end of the day, you only have enough money to get one jacket. What do you get? Do you get this or do you get a motorcycle jacket, like a typical mesh jacket or maybe a leather jacket? All I can say is coming in at right above $100, you're going to have a hard time finding a really good motorcycle jacket at that price point. And this is at the top of my list if the riding you're going to be doing is not serious technical riding like in the mountains, but it's more of like to and from work or class, you're making runs around the town like on your bike. If you're doing stuff like that, then I highly recommend this jacket. If not, if you're going to do technical riding and you need something that can cover everything, that's when you kind of need to make sure you're looking at a regular riding jacket. Like I said earlier guys, this thing is absolutely fantastic. The main gripe I have with it is the breathability factor. I wish it would funnel more air. Honestly, if it could funnel more air, I could deal with the real thickness and the heat because I would have that airflow. But even with that heat issue, I still find myself grabbing this before my riding jackets because it's so much more comfortable. I don't feel like uptight when I'm riding. I can actually wear this and I can ride around and just chill and enjoy myself. I don't have to, you know, when you put a riding jacket on, especially like if you put like a set of leathers on, you get into like the mode, like stuff is serious. And I do really enjoy being able to just put something on that's casual and just ride around and, you know, not really feel intense while I'm on my bike. It's an actual cool feeling and it leads me to grab this way more often than I do my riding jackets, even in the 92 degree days, stuck in traffic. But yeah guys, that's about it for the Highway 21 Marksman flannel shirt. If you guys are interested in checking it out for yourself, I've left links in the description for you. And if you have a friend that's looking for a low cost option to ride in, I highly recommend you sending this video to him. Maybe that can help him out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. I am Chase, this has been a First Fit video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Later. The dude with the blower's light. Hold on, is Chase recording? All right, go. Yep, blow it away, bro. Bro it, blow it away.